I am four weeks away from a fitness photo shoot and I need to get as shredded as possible. These are my workouts for maximum aesthetics. Today, it's chest and shoulders. So we're gonna kick things off with an incline cable fly. So I like to start my chest workout off of this rather than a press because I'm actually trying to limit the amount of weight that I'm pressing. I've had a couple of pec tears before, don't want it to happen again. This is a really good way to warm up and actually get some chest activation going before. I prefer this to start with than a dumbbell fly because dumbbell fly, you might know, you might feel that there's a lot of tension down here at the bottom and then as soon as you reach the top, all that tension drops off the chest and it's more on your shoulders or your triceps. Here with the cable, there is more tension at the top. You feel more tension than you would with a dumbbell. You still get a good stretch down here and a lot of constant tension all the way through. So it's a nice start to your chest workout. One more warm up. So yeah, I only did three reps for that last warm up. That's the way I like to warm up. That's the way I like my clients to warm up. Because the reason being is that I'm trying to save as much energy as possible for the working sets, the sets that count, the sets that actually build the muscle. The warm ups are just getting you there, just activating the muscle, getting you used to the movement. So the first warm up, I'll do 12 reps, and then six, and then three. And that saves as much energy as I can for those working sets. So if you're gonna do this, get the handles to your chest first, push them up, and then start the exercise. Okay, second set, we're gonna go a little bit lighter and it's 12 to 14 reps on this one. I don't know why I'm shouting as if the mic is in the camera, because it's not, it's attached to me. Okay, second exercise, bench press. I'm using knee sleeves. Yes, knee sleeves. These are actually knee sleeves for my elbows. Because my arms are just so jacked. Or maybe my legs are just so small that it doesn't matter either way. So elbows are a bit iffy. That's what happens when you get old. I'm 30 this year, can you believe it? All the comments are saying, more like 40. So I've done my warm ups on here already. I'm not gonna bore you with that. Let's see the hard sets. Okay, incline again. Two sets, first set, eight to 10 reps. Let's go. If my tricep tendon snaps, at least we'll have it on camera. Let's go. Wow, 10 to 12 this time, we're a little bit lighter. In fact, 10 kilos lighter per dumbbell. Ooh. By the way, these are my workouts, guys. These are for my knees, not necessarily for yours. If you need your own plan, go to my website, themuscularchitect.com. That being said, if you do give it a try, let me know how you got on. These knee sleeves slash elbow sleeves are from Strength Shop, by the way. I've had them for absolutely years, and they're incredible. Also, shout out to Thirst for the vest. They didn't give it to me or anything, I bought it. Although I feel like they should have given it to me, to be fair, since I'm a long lost relative of Mike. Mike, hit me up for a collab, family reunion, let's go. 
Okay, we're on the chest press next, but the strength curve of this one's a bit weird. So I'm adding a resistance band around the handles so that when I press, there's gonna be more resistance at the end of the movement because that's where it seems to drop off. So I like to do this at least on my heavy set of this. And then we'll go a little bit lighter for the second set again. Let's go. I know that machine's really creaky, it needs some TLC. Okay, set two, we're gonna go a little bit lighter and get rid of that band. It is very good, but there's no way I'm gonna hit my rep range. Okay. Okay, we're on to dumbbell flies next. And we're trying for a one second pause at the bottom. So you guessed it, we're doing two sets again, but this time we're actually using the same weight for both sets because I want that deep stretch. You know, like I was talking about earlier with the cable flies, you know, the deep stretch with the dumbbell is really good. And I save it last on the chest workout. So I want to go a little bit heavier for both of those sets. So the first set is an eight to 10 rep range and just whatever I can get with the same weight for the second set. Ding, 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 round two. One more. Uh. Ooh, that was a grind. Oh. I hope these shots are good. I need a cameraman. Getting lean. Getting there. It's coming. Okay, that's it for chest. We're gonna do some shoulders. They might be thinking I'm gonna start shoulder pressing. But you'd be wrong, because we've done a lot of pressing today. We've done a lot of front delts. I don't need to work them anymore. You might, you probably don't. By all means, if you like shoulder pressing, keep it in your workouts. I like shoulder pressing from time to time. But I'm going for maximum aesthetics here. So I don't actually want the front delt to be too big. I want the side delt to be big. because I want to create that width from the side, right? I want big shoulders, narrow waist. So we're gonna go straight into a lateral raise. I am on an incline bench, leaning forward, and have dumbbells in hands. I'm gonna raise out to the side, arms out slightly in front, and this is my favorite version of lateral raise at the moment. And I'm just checking what I did last time. This is something you should definitely be doing, guys, is logging your workouts. So for example, last time I got 12.5 kilos for 11 reps. Today, we're gonna to go for 12. You don't even have to do that much writing. All I do is copy and paste the previous workout and change the numbers as I go. And I might write a little goal here and there. I might write a note if I was feeling tired on a particular exercise. But that's it, and it helps you progress so much faster. Control it on the way down. All right, so we've got 13 there, which means next time we're going up in weight. I did actually do two sets of those, you're just gonna have to trust me. All right, so lastly, we're gonna do a cable lateral raise. Now, I'm doing these with wrist cuffs because I'm bougie. You can do them with a D-handle, but trouble is there, you're gripping so hard that the forearm gets a lot of work, the bicep gets a lot of work. The rear delt, sorry, not the rear delt, the side delt, doesn't get as much. With a wrist cuff, you don't have to grip as hard, so the side delt's doing all the work. Not just a pretty face.
Whoa, God, you can look jacked when you just have your shoulders in frame, like Derek, more plates, more dates, but then you zoom out and you're pretty skinny. So you wanna keep your hand in front of you, just slightly. You don't wanna be dragging the cable across your body. Okay, one more set and then that's a wrap. Strap in. Try not to knock out the camera. And that is a wrap. Thanks for watching. This is my chest and shoulder workout. For any of you wondering, read else from back day. Comment down below if you're adding anything into your program from this video. Like I said, four weeks till my shoot. So subscribe, I'm gonna show you all my workouts along the way. Ring that notification bell. And if you want your own fully custom training and diet plan, go to themusclearchitect.com where you can sign up and you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.